At the start of the level, just run past the Goombas and ignore the flying ship. They really shouldn't give you any trouble. As you navigate the poles, instead of holding the control stick to turn Mario, try tapping it so that you don't overcompensate. Since this section relies on precise wall jumps, just flick the control stick directly to the right and to the left so that Mario stays on the path. When you get to the last grab point, you can jump down onto the pole below instead of waiting for it to fall. If you time this part a little late like I did, you can just jump off the pole, throw your hat, and then dive on it to make it across. Similarly, you can skip the next part by doing this trick. For the metal wave section, start by doing a regular jump onto one of the taller waves. Then do long jumps on the top of the waves to make it across. The trick to timing the fireball jumps is to jump right after the spikes go over the pit. Make sure you're holding down the Y button and start at the edge of the pit so that you have a running start before making your jumps. With the stretchy enemy, you can skip the first moving platform by just jumping at an angle. You can also skip a good part of this section if you jump around this corner and hop out of the enemy at the right time. To get past the black enemies, just roll on their platform. With Yoshi, stick your tongue on the right wall to avoid the first enemy. Once you're past them, go to the other side. For the next enemies, try to commit to a side before you get to them since Yoshi jumps in an arc and can easily get hit if you dodge them at the last minute. When you get to the top, jump out of Yoshi and step on the P-switch. During the flower path part, don't bother hitting the laser switches because they'll cause you more trouble than they're worth. Do a triple jump over the raised boxes to make it over them. Then jump off the flower path and grab the heart power up from the sphinx. If you haven't already gotten the power up, just talk to the Sphinx and give them the answer I put on the screen. For the block section, move Mario under the gold rings. After you do the wall jump, position yourself on the box to the right of the rings. Then do another wall jump and move yourself under the next pair of rings. After the platform on the left appears, do another wall jump to make it up. Wait under the next pair of rings and do another wall jump starting from the left side. The gliding part is really easy, just dive a little to avoid the mosquitoes if you need to, the wind will bring you back up. The fork part is also pretty straightforward, just be sure to shake the controller to home in on them if your throw is off a little. This fog section can be brutal normally, but it's pretty easy if you hop onto the raised platforms with the enemies and kill them as they spawn. As you kill them, slowly move to the end of the platform so you have time to jump on the moving one. If 
For this last part, do a jump and then dive over the raised platform to make it back onto the moving one. The bird flinging can be pretty tricky. Try to pull your beak back right away so you just have to worry about timing the release. When you get to the cliff, shake your controller during your fling so that you get a height boost. You can attach to the rock, so don't worry if you can't quite make it onto the boards. The 2D section shouldn't give you too much trouble, just take your time since the controls can be very disorienting when moving in a circle. You want to spend most of it running because there are a lot of double barrels to jump over. When you get to this point, just wait in the corner for an opening before jumping up by Donkey Kong. For the most part, the Bowser section is simple, so I don't really have much to say about it till the end, especially since your health gets regenerated. Just try to take your time smashing any rocks in your way. When you get to the tunnel part, be sure to turn around and smash each rolling rock before breaking the square ones. Okay, and that's all I have for the darker side level. Thanks for watching and see you next time.